Current reduction of post-secondary tuition fees in Ontario will be extended for an additional year. Eagle News correspondent Joshua Santeliana with the report. The Ontario government announced Friday, April 30th, its plan to extend the reduction of post-secondary tuition fees for an additional year. The announcement was made by Minister of Colleges and Universities, Ross Romano. Take a listen. Students and their families make significant sacrifices to attend college and university. The financial uncertainty due to the COVID-19 pandemic further underscores the need to keep college and university programs affordable. By freezing tuition, a government is continuing to reduce the financial strain on families' pocketbooks. In 2019, Ontario announced its first ever province-wide tuition fee reduction by 10%. Here's the announcement from former Minister of Training, Colleges and Universities, Marilee Fullerton. Take a look. We know students and their families make great sacrifices to pay for college or university. I am proud to announce that starting this September, Ontario's Government for the People is introducing an unprecedented 10% tuition reduction at all publicly funded colleges and universities in the province. Full-time Canadian students who are enrolled in undergraduate programs for the academic year 2018 to 2019 paid an average of 6,838 tuition fees. Subsequently, the average tuition fee for full-time undergraduate students in 2019 went down 5.3% from the previous academic year, averaging $6,463. Practical nursing students were promised to see a reduction of $300 for the 2019-2020 academic year, $700 reduction for the arts and science undergraduate students, and $1,120 for engineering students. The 10% reduction on tuition fees were effective for the school year 2019 and 2020, and the one-year tuition freeze was set to expire April 2021. Despite the 10% tuition fee reduction all throughout 2020, many students voiced their concerns about having transitioned to virtual learning as the COVID-19 pandemic put a stop to in-person learning. Many students hoped that their tuition fees would be further lowered as they claimed that they would not be receiving the same benefits as they would if they were to participate in classes in person. Carleton University student Jasmine Dubé Joseph started an online petition in June 2020 to encourage post secondary institutions to take action. As per Dubé Joseph, due to COVID 19, we cannot receive the full university and college experience we have hoped for. For new students, visualize university and college sitting in big lecture halls, forming connections with their professors, joining clubs, and connecting with new students. They will not be able to explore the campus, clubs, lectures, or meet new people. Therefore, paying the full tuition fee is unreasonable. The petition gained almost 5,000 signatures, over 10,000 views, and 2,000 shares within a span of one month. Simultaneously, numerous petitions emerged from other college and universities such as Ryerson University and University of Toronto. Despite garnering widespread attention, colleges and universities did not reduce fees for online learning for the academic school year of 2020 to 2021. Dr. Claire Brett, an associate professor and chair of curriculum teaching and learning at University of Toronto, says online learning has been around for many years and it has become more social and advantageous compared to previous years. Take a look. It's a different kind of um, experience and more social than actually the, the we used to be able to do uh, years ago. So I see that as a real advantage now. We have two different modalities that when you put together provide a pretty comprehensive learning experience. And I think you'll find that this is actually a lot less scary and weird than um, you might feel that it's going to be. In Toronto, Joshua Santaliana, Eagle News, we live in interesting times.